Hey, what's up, beautiful souls? Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody is doing the best they can. And I hope that everybody has has come to some kind of peace with the the madness that's going on in the world. And I'm here to send a message of hope and send a, a positive message in, in the light of all of this um, fear mongering and conspiracy theories that are going around. I'm not here to tell you what I believe is happening. I'm not here to tell you what you should believe is happening. Um, everybody's truth is going to be different. And I'm just here to remind us that fear is never the answer. So before I um, get too far into it, I would like you to take a deep breath and find the stillness at the base of your exhale and sit in that stillness for this message and, and take this message into your heart and, and feel it in your soul because um, our egos are allowing our fears to to run rampant with the fear monitoring that's going on in society and the, the panic and the the sense of urgency for for things so if you would indulge me in one deep breath and then hold on the exhale to find that stillness and then I'll get into the message Thank you. <clears throat> so I wanted to kind of just keep continuing with the, the whole fear thing. Um, as you all know, and as you see around you, and as you feel around you when you go in public, fear is is at a really high level right now. And <clears throat> fear is something that, that operates out of the root chakra, the, the base of your energetic system within your being. And <clears throat> When we are living out of that that energetic center, um, the conscious consciousness level that we're able to obtain and and uh, the clarity of mind is not there because that is where the fight or flight happens and it it makes us much more reactive when when something happens that is outside of our expectation. And speaking of expectation, when we <clears throat> create these expectations of what we think is happening or what we think is going to happen. Um, <clears throat> it's really setting us up for uh, more fear in the future when that said thing does not happen or it, it does happen. And more now than ever, it's, it's so important to be present in your moment and to find the positive light in your moment. <clears throat> and you know, the, the positive of, being quarantined or or kept at home, it, it's really a beautiful thing. Now we can slow our lives down and use this as a wake-up call to what is really important in life because a lot of times in our lives it takes a, a significant loss, a death, a, a loss of a dear relationship to rediscover what is important and that is love, not fear. It is love within your home it is love within your community, and most importantly, it's love within your heart for self. And that, that self-love is, is really your connection to God or the divine or the creator or whatever you want to call the, the greater power that, that has created this reality for ourselves. And, you know, we get away from it when we are living a fast-paced, egoic life. Um, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians, if you will, and, you know, running these television programs in our minds and creating these, these unreasonable expectations and these unhealthy lifestyles that we are creating for ourselves um, are, are really coming to light because you, the people that are un unhealthy and the people that are not taking care of their vessels are the ones emitting the most fear. 
And <clears throat> rightfully so, if, if you know consciously that you have not been taking care of yourself, if you not, have not been nourishing your body, drinking water, getting sunlight, you know, having the essential elements of life um, consciously brought into your life, then, then unconsciously you're running a program that is not healthy for your human vessel or your soul. And I, I ask that you use this um, heavy time to reevaluate how you live, reevaluate the way you think, really evaluate what system you're operating from. Are you calling in beings through your root chakra th from the heavens or are you bringing in entities through your root chakra of fear? Because metaphorically speaking, the red chakra or the root chakra being red and from it being from below when you're bringing beings from below, um, you know, I think metaphorically that's where the devil comes from. And I think, um, that is a state of mind. I think it's an energy. I don't think it's a being. I think it's an energy that, that we can invite in by living through that root chakra at the base of our system and allowing that entity or that energy to, to come into our vessel through below. And, and instead of having faith and, and holding faith and, and not letting fear cancel out your faith because, as I've said before, Faith is really the opposite of fear. And if you have true faith in the Creator and true faith in the Divine, then, then fear has no room in your reality because you're operating from your higher chakra system and, and you're calling in energies from, from the heavens and from um, the angel realm and from, from the astral realm that, that serve your highest good and not... Um, serve to feed on your fear and to feed on the the lower energies that you carry. So I, I encourage you to spend this time with your family loving each other, not fearing what's going on, not fearing what the future holds, not fearing anything. Be present with your family. Start reading, start educating yourself, drink water, do calisthenics, get your energy moving, start thinking on a more positive light, and turn off your televisions, turn off your Facebook. If it is overwhelming you, it is time to shut it down and ground that energy and, and dismiss that, that fear. So get outside, put your feet in the grass, allow Pachumama to wash your negative energy out of your being and she will fill you with the mother energy that is nurturing and caring and all you have to do is simply go outside and, and make flesh contact with mother earth and, and breathe do some deep breathing and on those exhales visualize that negative energy that fear flushing out of whatever is contacting mother earth and and mother earth will always assist in in nurturing because that that is the mother energy and and it can be a really powerful tool especially in times like this and um so i encourage you to to really look at the practices you have in play or um maybe the lack of practices you have in play to ground negative energy and to um, create a more positive reality for yourself. And you can do that through gratitude journaling or affirmations or just loving yourself, taking some time to separate your energy from the collective and check in with your energy and check in with your vessel and take care of your vessel with a with a conscious mind so i love you guys i th i know beautiful times are ahead it may get darker before it gets light but it's always the darkest before dawn and i know moving into the age of aquarius that that beautiful times are ahead and I hold on to that and I hold on to my faith in, in the divine that 
no matter what happens on this earth to my physical body, I hold the light inside and I know the power of the light and I know the power of the light can expel any darkness because the light is information and the darkness is just lack of information. So when you hold all the information and the power of the divine light, and the divine truth within you, there's no room for darkness. So do your work, breathe, drink water and love. And I will see you very soon. And I hope this, this message can put some minds at ease. I hope it, it can bring awareness to how you're living. It's time to wake up, people. We can't continue like this. We cannot continue like this. Even if this blows over in two weeks, do not go back to sleep because it'll only get worse. Our collective lessons will get louder. This is a pretty loud message to clean shit up within our own being because that's all we can really do. Become a pure being of the light and then come together. It's... I talked in the men's group that I had the other day of, of the difference between being dependent, independent, and interdependent. And you know, everybody wants to be independent and self-sufficient and, and that's great and, and that's the first step. Because once you solidify yourself and who you are and what you stand for and, and your moral compass, then you can then extend yourself to others when your cup is overflowing and you can link up and connect with other beings of light and create something so much more broad and so much more powerful than what you as an independent individual could do on your own. And that is called interdependence. And when we can all become strong, independent people and souls and in these vessels, then we can link up and connect and create a web of interdependence on humanity and we can create a whole new earth and a whole new way of living and a whole new way of life that is centered from the heart and not the ego and not material and it's centered from love because love is of the god vibration and and it is the most purifying thing that that a human can experience in, in this realm is is that unconditional love from the divine when you accept the divine light through your vessel and into your heart and let it radiate from you. So I hope that you find peace and I hope that you'll understand that no matter what happens to the, the human vessels around you, whether this thing affects them and, and they transition or whatever it may be, that accepting the light will always have you taken care of whether it's in this realm or the next realm so hold on to that hold it in your heart hold it in your mind and just love much love and many blessings i wish you all the best and i will see you very soon